energy a top issue for voters and on the presidential debate stage last night. Joining me right now is Continental Resources Chairman and CEO Harold Hamm, along with Trump Campaign Finance Chairman Steve Mnuchin. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. Harold, Trump slamming Hillary over energy last night. What was your reaction? Well, I, I think what you saw is the uh, same thing that we've, we've been saying for the past eight years. Now, this candidate, uh, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton, is going to do the very same thing that's been going on for the past eight years. And that is try to put up all fossil fuels out of business, done, has done that with coal, now turns attention on oil and gas. So we've got somebody here that, unlike Ronald Reagan, is wanting higher taxes, more regulations. On the other side, we've got a candidate that's, that's pro-business, wants to create jobs, make America great again, and wants to release the uh, pent-up potential of this country. So. That, that's what we saw last night. I think there's a lot of things we didn't see, right. and that, that's for future debates. Well, I want to talk about what we didn't see, but, but first, let's get into the money angle here. Steven Mnuchin, uh, we know from all of the press and, and news out there that Hillary is out raising Donald Trump in a big way, particularly when it, be, when it comes to corporate CEOs and managers of business. Why do you think that is? And tell us from your standpoint, you're heading uh, the, the fundraising. Sure. Well, well, first of all, when we talk about corporate fundraising, there's been this article about CEOs. She has 15 of the Fortune 100. That's it. And the Fortune 100 are all big companies that want the status quo. We're going to release a letter shortly with 100 CEOs and business leaders that are supporting Trump. We released this week 300 economists that think that she's going the wrong way on the economy. So uh, I don't think that's the case at all in terms of support on her. Well, can I just I'll interrupt you on that? Because I think it's important. Actually, that was our story. You say, right, 15 are supporting her. 30 supported Mitt Romney in uh, 2012, which wasn't the status quo. So the 30 of the top 100 companies supported Mitt Romney. Uh, 15 are supporting Hillary Clinton. Zero are supporting Donald Trump this time around. That, that does say something, doesn't it, about the way his fellow business men and women think about him? Again, you're referring to the Fortune 100. This is a very small part of business. This country well, is about very, small it's business. It's a huge part of business, actually. The, well, well, these well, are the global no, no, companies what, that yeah. want to do trade. What I'm commenting on mm -hmm. is our economy is going to grow as a result of small and medium-sized businesses. We have the support of the small business groups, okay? We have support of the trade group on our tax plan. There's a huge difference. As we're on the road, one of the things we hear from corporations and small businesses, less regulation. So we believe we have much more support on a much broader basis. Now, why are the top 15 CEOs supporting her? Not a surprise. They don't want change. So do you think, trade you, is a, do you think, do you think free trade has been a bad thing for the American economy? I don't think we've had free trade. I think if we had free trade, it would be a good thing. Well, do I think you, the existing... You, so I, you think NAFTA was not, doesn't represent a, a move towards free trade? You don't it, think TPP will be a move towards free no, trade? No, I, I don't think these are free trade at all. I think if you look at the WTO, okay, China is violating the agreement. If you look at NAFTA, they put on a VAT. We have no VAT. So, you know, if you look at this, okay, there's certain large companies that this mm. has been good for. Okay. But, yeah. but broadly, this has been terrible for the American worker. Right. And we got a plan that has 25 million more new jobs. That's what this is about. And, but how do you get I those? Mean, how do you create 25 million jobs? It's, it's not that hard. So first of all, we start out with a tax plan, okay, where we cut corporate taxes. We need to have the corporate tax rate competitive. Why do we have inversions? The reason we have inversions is because the rest mm -hmm. of the world is more competitive. Why do we have Apple sitting with billions and billions of dollars of cash offshore right. that they're borrowing against their cash? These are all fair None points. of this and, makes and, any sense. And, and Harold Hamm, you're in the energy space. Trump has said he wants to roll back some of these regulations with the EPA. Um, can you explain to us why those regulations have been so onerous and, and, and why it's dictating how businesses actually spend and invest? Well, first of all, the, tax, the regulations that Obama has thrown in place is, is like six to seven times the, you know, the prior Bush administration's regulations. And they're designed basically to put us out of business. And, and that's exactly what he wants to do. So it's, it's very onerous. I mean, we want to sit here and do the very same thing as happened to coal. Uh, you know, if we wait on that, it's, it's too late. So it's, it's tremendous. Uh, uh, you know, what she wants to do is tag on exactly uh, to where Obama's been for the past eight years. So it's 
very, very onerous. Look, I know you want to protect Obama's legacy, Robert Wolf. You, you are trying, yeah. you know, to, to, to say that he is very popular well, with the American people, but... Happy to have this debate, but one, Trump's plan doesn't give 25 million jobs. The only, ind the only ind independent analysis does it loses jobs and adds five trillion to the deficit. And with respect to China, the best way to go against China is to do the TPP because it's 40 percent of, but it's of all. Okay, let me jobs. just finish. It's 40 percent, okay, of all trade. Uh, and 60% of the country, and they're not, I, I know Donald Trump may not be aware of this, but they're not part of the TPP. The best way to be part of uh, attacking Asia right. is to go trade with everyone but China. So, and it's with fear and environmental standards. That so is, I, that I, analysis I, isn't independent, though. If, if he, Moody's he, analytics he, is he independent. Fun, he, he gave money to Hillary Clinton. It's not independent. That's, okay, well, yeah. Moody's analytics ahead, okay. is independent. So, let, let's talk that. about this, yeah. because That's she said true. the same thing last night, and it's well, just not true. Okay, well, okay. I would disagree. The tax so the foundation, analysis. the tax foundation has priced the tax plan, okay? There's about two and a half trillion dollars of lost revenue, which we can easily make up in additional revenue as a result of less regulation, the energy policy, and trade. That's first of all. The tax foundation shows a growth in jobs. We have a white paper that's on the website. She keeps talking about her website. Go to our website. There's a white paper that talks about all the new jobs. We can factually Steve, back up Steve, 25 million new jobs. Steve, By the way, she only claims Steve, she can have 8 million new jobs. The Center for Responsible Budget has him at a five-plus trillion dollar deficit. That is an independent group. Again, okay. first of all, that's a They're not, they're not looking at potential economic growth in, in it's, that. It's they apples and they're not, apples, though. They're comparing. Because he's saying 4% economic growth. Okay, that but, number. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that is know, true. They're not number. factoring it's in economic growth. It's a magic number. It's a, it's, a, it's a Hail Mary. The bottom line is this is an election where Donald Trump is about change, and Hillary Clinton is keep what you got. And if voters want one and a half percent growth and want what we have, they should vote for her. The American public wants change, and that's what Donald Trump is, and that's why he's going to win. Stephen Mnuchin, Harold Ham, good to see you both. Thanks so much.